What's up, everybody? Let's address a question that came up in yesterday's workshop. I was working with the Alabama Department of Public Health, graphing really important data for them, and we were discussing sort order in our charts. So my advice is always to do what's gonna be the easiest thing for your audience. And when we're talking about like making a bar chart, when the categories are categorical, meaning there's no real order to it, then you should pick an order, usually based on the values that you're showing in your chart running greatest to least. This is gonna answer your audience's natural questions like what's most popular, what's least popular. And we talk about this more in the data story most least video, so check that out. Sometimes your categories are ordinal in nature, like age ranges or ninth graders to 12th graders. And in that case, you'd want to abide by that order instead of going greatest to least. It's just gonna make it easier for everybody to make sense of what you're trying to show them. So when I was working with the Alabama Department of Health yesterday, they had uh, data on various cancer treatments occurring at a bunch of different hospitals and clinics throughout the state. I was, my first inclination, of course, was to show them how to graph this data greatest to least. So we're making a bar chart on breast cancer, a bar chart on colon cancer, a bar chart on all these, all these various cancers. And um, they asked, rightly so, wouldn't it make more sense to graph this data alphabetically, like to organize these hospitals and clinics A to Z? And this is where it comes down to your audience. If your primary audience is going to be the people working inside those hospitals and clinics, A to Z, alphabetical order, would probably make the most sense because they're probably looking for themselves. They wanna see their own data point and they're not as concerned with everybody else. And so finding themselves in a list that's ordered greatest least is gonna be a hunt, but if it's alphabetical, it'll be much easier for them. If you're reporting this data to the public at large who want to see, you know, where's the hospital that does the most cancer treatment, they're gonna to wanna to see greatest to least. So the question is always going to come down to who is your audience? And sometimes we get settled with more than one audience, you know, especially when you are a public health department, you're putting stuff out there that might be for one group, but it's gonna be completely publicly accessible too. So in those cases, you need to pick your primary audience and focus on them and what sort order is going to make the most sense to them. Some platforms will even let your audience select the sort they'd like to see and kind of change the view. But even in those cases, you're gonna to have to pick what shows up on the first view. So you'll be thinking about your primary audience there. In the data visualization checklist, we talk about using an arrangement that makes the most sense to your audience. And that's why audience is always going to be the most critical factor here. Whether it's gonna be greatest to least, ordinal or alphabetical is going to depend on what they need to see.